four pounds. You're looking at Mark Martin for the Ohio State Buckeyes. He's a top 20 ranked individual. He is number 18 in the floor rankings. That is Caleb Marsh, the Martian, for the Kent State University with his back to us right now. And there's a oh, the next beautiful job. Comes across, catches the knee and the ankle, scores a takedown, goes up 2-0. 20 seconds into the bout. Mark Martin up 2-0 with a nice step. You know, he was a smooth criminal on that one. I yeah. like that. I like that. Smooth criminal term. Yeah, he's a good dude. This I might steal that time here. Uh, well, he was. Boy, boy. Boy. Dave, David Taylor the whole time, he could play just like smooth criminal. How he's just picking people apart. That's all I can think about. When uh, and I'm not th I'm not saying uh, Alien Ant Farm smooth criminal. I'm saying no, Michael Jackson. Yeah, the real, the original, the real deal. Yeah. So this is 174. You got a 2-1 lead right now for Mark Martin, the St. Edward Eagle state champion as a senior for the Eagles. That is uh, Caleb Marsh, state placer, third in the state for the Marysville Monarchs. Sean Andrews, his coach, doing a heck of a job there in Central Ohio. Something like a know it. And uh, doing a great job. So, courts with some meat, or courts. That's Mark Martin. That's Mark Martin with some meat tape there. Mark Martin with some knee tape on his left knee. Looks like it might be, I'm trying to see if it's on the inside or the outside of the ACL or MCL or LCL. Here we go. Minute and a half to go here in this first period. When Mark Martin was a little guy, he used to run. And he was the leader of the pack at Eric Burnett's wrestling camps. Mm -hmm. And that dude had little short tiny legs like Marvin the Martian. And he kept up with me. It was awesome. Just a hard working, hard nosed kid. Great family, great dad. And uh, St. Edward Eagle from Strongsville, Ohio. Criminal double low ankle attack. Yeah, looks like that might be an MCL tapage there. So right now, Kent we got State, under a minute to go. Go ahead. Kent State trying to climb back in this thing. They need a win right here. They're There's crawling back in. Cake almost. They are delicious. Yeah, nice stop stopping that shot there. Caleb Marsh, the Martian, he's a freeze. He trails by a point as they head towards the edge. Marsh looked like he was going to come circle back to the center. Now he does. I guess that's not circling. That's just going straight backwards. But puts him back in the center of the mat with 30, 30 seconds to go in the first. 2 1 here. Mark Martin. And hand fighting hard here with 15 seconds left. A little fake shot there by Caleb Marsh. Oh, Jay Jobs shoots from the outside. They're going to step out of bounds. We'll come back to the center. Eight seconds to go in the first period. And it's just 2-1. Mark Martin with the lead after that smooth criminal, as Zeb calls it, takedown earlier in the period. And that's going to do it. We're not going to see any action here, scoring-wise, any ways at the end of the first. Two to one. We're going to get a choice. Martin's choice, and they're gonna go. Looks like Tom Ryan's saying neutral. Well, you got the takedown in the first. Let's try to get another one here in the second. Two minutes on the clock, and the whistle blows. We are underway. Oh, I thought he was gonna come with that slide by. You should have seen Caleb Marsh and Billy Marsh Curling. fires off a shot. Nope. Snatch single attempt. Yep. You should have seen Billy Curling and Caleb Marsh on Monday. Turned into a war. Steve Martin got it uh, ejected from the match. Steve Martin over him. It was uh, it was unwarranted in my opinion, but hey, who am I? Said the guy behind the camera. So uh, right now, double collar tie, but both guys. 130 left here, We're just under 130. Two one lead. Mark Martin and uh, pretty evenly matched here, except for that smooth criminal takedown in the first period, that low double takedown by Mark Martin and uh, Mark Martin is a guy. I don't know if you remember last year at the NCAA tournament, but uh, he won a one-point match with Kyle Dick in the first round. Oh, yeah. Everybody was like, what's going on over there? Yeah, that and was Mark Martin. There was this little buzz throughout the tournament as that match was going on, and everybody started slowly tuning into that, tuning into that match. As uh, David Taylor was buzzsawing someone on another match. Yeah, right. Kyle Dick was just being Kyle Dick. It and might look like he wins by a point, but uh, you were nowhere close to beating him. Right. It's slightly demoralizing. I gotta be honest. 
But Mark, Mark, he did take him to the wire. He did cut, you know, now he's moved up from 65 to 74. And it looks like it's fitting him pretty well. And there's a shot by Martin. Marsh pushes. 22 seconds left. Shot there's on the shot. edge. He couldn't even get close to get past that head. Tries to bump by. Not there. And you know who's the next? He's not the next Kyle Dick, but that style of it's going to be close, but you're not even going to win. Andrew Howe. Andrew Howe's been doing that all year. He, he, I think he just, Andrew Howe just physically abuses that. Oh, wow. He's like, pulling on your head, pulling on your head, pulling on your head. Pull on your head. Tired watching him pull on the head. Um, what, we got? what is going on here, man? Like, I, I would have to get like a new vertebrae or something. I'm just pulling on my head. i pulling my dumb piece of water. Starfished out on the mat. And, and so know. it's two to one. That was the end of the second. No score in there. We're going to go into the third. So they went on their feet. Martin chose neutral and didn't score. He does not have riding time. He's only up by one point. So an escape here um, by Marsh would tie it. Marsh went to his feet. Look at the cut hands. And if Mark Martin can return here, that'd be huge. There's a roll. Tries to roll. free himself and score the escape. And like we said, we're tied 2-2, minute 35 to go here in the bout. And only 33 seconds of riding time in favor of Miles Martin. So, Mark Martin. Mark Martin, thank you. Miles Martin's a kid from uh, Maryland, didn't he? He's pretty good. Yes. Yeah, he's pretty good, I like him. Mark Martin. Mark Martin, the Strongsville kid that Russell pulled at St. Edward Eagle. He was a state runner up. And here we go, look for a shot on the edge, they go out. To the edge and out, out of bounds. We'll come back to the center. 110 to go in this power. We're not at it, too. The Julius Matt McGuire match. I thought that was a pretty good match. That one was well fought. Great strategy by uh, Mackenzie McGuire. This one, uh, I like the strategy by Martin so far. He needs him to take and to prove he obviously could do it in the first 15 seconds of the match. Put something together here. 42 seconds remains. Third period. Mark Martin changing levels. Marsh trying to get a two on one, trying to get a hold of him. They're fighting wrists right now, trying to get a hold of him. And not much going on. 23 seconds left. Oh, there's a little low oh, shot. Martin gets this. And Martin gets a takedown again. He's going to score. Marsh tries to catch that ankle. Look at Martin's kicking that his foot and he reaches back oh, over the other way nine seconds to go and it needs to be a stalemate or a stall or something no mark martin nice regardless yeah it didn't matter take down at the end and uh, he's gonna take this one two to one another three points on the board for ohio state